Hello, I got a quick one for you today. I found out what M&M stands for on the little M&M sweets. But to tell you the story, I got to start at the start and how the Mars company was set up by a fella called Mars, which actually I didn't know, but it seems obvious now. He was called Franklin Clarence Mars. It was set up in 1911, but things didn't really take off until his son, in fact, Forrest Mars, came up with the idea for a Milky Way bar. Now, they say this wasn't based on the constellation, the Milky Way, but rather on the fact that it was inspired by a milkshake at the time. Their next big launch was in 1930 with the Snickers bar. Snickers was named after the family horse called Snickers. Then in 1932, they had something called the Three Musketeers bar, which is like the Milky Way. Apparently, it's still a thing in the US, but here in Europe, I I never heard of it. The fourth bar, the fourth Mars bar was the Mars bar. Now in the 1930s, Forrest got estranged from his dad Franklin as they had a falling out about business and Forrest went to Europe while his dad Franklin was in the US and then he died. Now while in Europe, Forrest developed things like Maltesers, which he launched. He also worked with the Toblerone company and the Nestle company. And during the Spanish Civil War, he saw soldiers holding candied chocolate. These were Smarties and he went, aha, I'll have that idea. So, back to the US to develop it. And they had to team up with Hershey's to work on this together. Now, the son of the director of Hershey's was called Bruce Murray. So, Forrest Mars and Bruce Murray worked on this together. And they decided to call it Mars and Murray. M and M's. So now, that's what an M and M stands for. And other quick notes, Forrest Mars was actually allergic to peanuts. So, he could only ever taste half of the M and M's. He also developed things like Uncle Ben's Rice and Pedigree Chum. And he died in 1999, age 95, and worth four billion. So, M&M's stands for Mars and Murray. And that's something I learned today. I'll have another one for you tomorrow. Thank you very much.